too. Oh. Sorry. So I have some new shit for you guys. <laughs> the first time I felt true isolation came from a quick exit from the dinner table. A cacophony of metal scraping ceramic, an open jaw accompanied by mixed food and saliva led to a maybe you shouldn't eat with us anymore. A heavy closed door. Meeting new people felt like untied shoes that always seemed to get off on the wrong feet. How come I always struggle with the little things? The next squirm that came from a tag in the back of my shirt, how sudden loud sounds hurt, how I can't tell if she's just being nice or trying to flirt, how friendships built on the principles of glue never quite seemed to stick. I told myself, maybe one day I'll get it. I just have to wait, and it will all just snap into place. Nights spent, my nervous system in flames, pinned by the gravity of my, idiosyc of my idiosyncrasies and unwelcome sensories. Am I always going to live like this? And then the shift. The first time I used noise-canceling headphones, it was a different kind of hug, one that rearranged my thought patterns like puzzle pieces and let the full picture speak for itself. Now, with this realization comes a new rotation. I feel myself start to shift on my axis. Real change takes practice. So I learn to support my brain, give myself more grace, move at my own pace, remind myself that my brain is not a mistake, navigate through this human experience. I will create security in my authenticity. My higher self is calling and I will listen and find a home in this autistic existence. <laughs> 